Welcome back to Breakwater. So I'm going to show you how to set up some water pipes and also some things you can do with them. Like you can obviously put it to a barrel to collect some water. So you have constant drinking water. You can also irrigate your benches. I'm not sure quite why you would do this yet. But these crystals, if you see them, a little tip, don't destroy them because you can get them from other things such as the blue golems. So save these if they're on like a hilltop because it might come in handy because what this water does it goes down and it will create a lake in some places which I have now. So I have this little lake down here so if I was to get rid of them that lake probably wouldn't exist. So it was handy that I didn't smash them up and I went for the golems instead. They're easy enough to get crystals out of the golems so not to worry about that. So I'm going to set up a water pump and then I'm going to show you the connecting pipe and then I'm going to irrigate my um, workbenches. So what you do, you stick this in the water as shown like this. It can be out of the water but the pipe will eventually have to go to the water. Um, so I'm just going to shove it in the water and then you put some pipage on the end. So this one that drops down there. You can see I've turned it on now, so it's pumping water actually into the water again. So it's not going to do nothing until I connect some pipes on the end here. So I've made some pipes, um, it's just bamboo and sticks, simple stuff really. And then you just toggle your snap points and it is actually aligned with the terrain that is still on. So that's good, it will, it will just um, automatically snap to the terrain, which is good. And as you can see it's still on because water is pumping out when I um, place these. So if you was to place them in like a little ditch somewhere you would create another little pond and it's handy for like growing um, the mushrooms, the coral mushrooms, you can plant the seeds and that. And it's handy for other stuff too. So um, I'll have to do a lot of farming to get a lot of bamboo and sticks and make some more pipes but you can put these splitters in here and then they can go to different workbenches in different directions and there's a little toggle switch on it so it can go to the left side or the right side depending on where you want the water hello little piggy come to join the party so then if you mess up you just get your destruction hammer you and just tap on it and you will get some resources back to build another one so i kind of messed up my placement there but the trick I used was put the barrel away from it and then snap the pipe into it. It's kind of hard when you're snapping the barrel onto the pipe so do it like that it seems to work better. And now as you can see here the water is filling up and I can put my empty bottles in and there's six slots to hold a lot of water. So you won't have to worry about first after this one. Next up then I'll just show you a recap running up here to the pipage and we're just gonna have a look where it goes to just to recap on it I had a few splitters and it went a bit wonky donkey but we got there in the end so once you look into your um what you call them benches there's a little icon on the top left of it and if it's spinning round that means like it is um, got water flowing to it and also I think they glow up once water's going to them but like I say they're not really used yet but they will be you could actually wall off this if water's coming down here and draining away you could wall it off or put the tika, yellow tika crystals and then that would trap the water there so like I say you can have the um, coral mushroom farm under the water there so that's pretty much the setup done. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. If if you have enjoyed it, drop a like, comment down below. It really helps the algorithm, helps this small channel get out there to others. But thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay entertained, and we'll see you on the next one.